The Modern Hungarian Advertising Poster, 1924-1942 From the 4th of June to the 6th of September, 2009, Move In Once again, Move In takes us to the interwar period with an exhibition highlighting one of the mainstays of this museum, the fusion of art and design, namely the poster. The modern Hungarian advertising poster from 1924 to 1942 reflects a general opening up and a turbulent experiment as regards vanguard artistic languages. In fact, the poster occupies a special place in formulating the order of events for the Hungarian vanguard movement. In the first edition of the magazine MA in 1916, Lajos Kasak, under the title The Poster and the New Painting, summed up his own artistic creed, as well as that of his literary and artist friends, brought together around the new magazine. In his article, he highlighted two important features of the poster genre, its formal audacity and its communicative power. Kasak was undoubtedly one of the main driving forces behind the success of Hungarian posters. The political events of the mid-twenties gave rise to an enormous change in Hungarian poster art. In this context, there were three relevant figures, two former contributors to the magazine, M.A., Kasak and Bordnik, together with the artist Robert Bereni. In these circumstances, and following the return of many émigré artists, Kasak, Bereni and Bordnik brought all the experience they had acquired abroad, namely in Berlin, Vienna and Weimar, to the art of poster design. This renovation was brought about under the banner of constructivism. Already throughout the 19th and 20th centuries, Art Nouveau aspirations towards a total art had helped give impulse to the development of the poster, and the start of the autonomy and functionality of the arts. During this period, constructivism once again presented this idea of total art, but under the ensign of new aesthetics. Thus, posters formed a part of the urban landscape, brightening up walls and advertising hoardings, and educating the aesthetic sensibility of passers-by, whilst at the same time serving a didactic and pedagogical purpose. This popularization of the poster implied the proliferation of a series of other actions which helped spread the poster culture even more, such as the celebration of poster competitions, the publication of graphic designers' proposals in specialist magazines, the organization of exhibitions, the publishing of monographic editions centered on the study and analysis of the phenomenon of advertising related to posters without forgetting the ripples of such activities in the press, together with the promotional campaigns themselves, or the publication of art reviews applied especially to the field of poster design. So, from Movim, we shall time warp through the streets of Budapest, as if we were just another citizen strolling in front of a selection of hundreds of advertising posters, ranging from the mid-twenties to the early forties, all of them reflecting a distinct modernity. Of the 31 graphic designers who make up this temporary exhibition, three stand out. Istvan Irsay, from whom there are 15 works carried out from 1931 to 1942. Robert Bereni, 14 works dating from 1927 to 1933. And Sandor Bordnik, with 12 posters signed between 1926 and 1931. The exhibition is divided into thematic sections according to the range of products they advertise. All the posters in the exhibition display different features. We can find examples of humoristic, erotic or grotesque nature. Posters with a distinct elegance, expressive posters with a direct communicative message. Posters which promote a brand or reinforce the brand image, and others which, above all, promoted rhetoric strategies aimed at communicating the joy of life within the framework of major cities, born from everyday life which they impinged upon. This magnificent exhibition was conceived by the Commissars Laszlo Schultz, a distinguished Hispanist, 
and Katalin Bakos, authoress of the catalogue study. The cooperation of the Budapest National Library was key to the seeding of this select collection of advertising posters from its archives, without which this exhibition would never have been possible. This explosion of colour in the design and printing style of the interwar era, which makes up the exhibition The Modern Hungarian Advertising Poster, 1924 to 1942, and ratifies one of the cornerstones of this museum, can be seen from June the 4th to September the 6th in the Valencian Museum of Enlightenment and Modernity, MUVIM.